Well, good morning, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Look at that traffic back up like I wouldn't believe, and this is like four miles outside of downtown Pittsburgh. Ooh, I'm glad I'm not going that direction. Good morning. Thursday, August 27, 2017. Uh, somewhere in New Jersey. I just did the majority of Pennsylvania on Pennsylvania Turnpike between Pittsburgh and Philadelphia for a load. The loads pay higher over here, sometimes up to $1.90 a mile, which is unbelievable, but then when you figure in $25 worth of tolls and then $2.75 a gallon gas, you can see why they pay $1.90 a mile. Even still, they break about the same as the amount of money as Ohio and out that Midwest area would be. But I get to explore a new territory anyway, and I got to scratch off Pennsylvania, and New Jersey, and then eventually here Delaware, and then Maryland off of my state list to step foot into. I've been in each one of these states on a train before, an Amtrak, but not on foot, and been able to take a picture of the state signs and so on, check stuff out, so being that I'm this close, I'm gonna probably head this way on my own, and deadhead, unless they happen to magically have a load headed to like Georgia or Tennessee. They they bid it on a load going to Georgia which would have worked out perfect because I would have had to go through a bunch of the states that I wanted to at least along the side of them anyway and it would have been enough to detour over to sea on the way by doing the load, you know, stop and take a break, big picture, picture break type of thing. But they didn't get the bid even when I bid it lower so I don't know what the heck happened with that. Anyway, just thought I'd bring you a bit of New Jersey scenery. Sorry for the shaking on the camera. The camera zoomed in. Get you on the next clip. So right directly ahead of me is a camper. Truck stop and service. And driller. Miles. I know it has a YouTube channel, but I can't think of his channel or his name. After one half it's mile, it's interesting to see that he's on the same highway as right I am. To see Highway 140 towards deep water, then go straight ahead. So if you happen to be passing by the flying J or pilot on the Welcome Center for New Jersey. Go straight ahead. Then you were on the same road that I was. You recognize yourself. <sighs> Crossing over the bridge to Delaware, having to pay another toll. I think I bought an easy pass. Anyway, see you next time. The view overlooking the Shenandoah Valley is what I was in when I was talking about earlier driving through there. I had no idea the historical relevance of it. But I'm at the Visitor's Welcome Center for Maryland. As I drop back into Maryland again on this interstate, if I get the 65, I think is the interstate, I don't remember, 68, something like that. Anyway, I just thought I'd bring you the excellent view out this way. That's what I've been looking at all day, more or less, depending on the views. Where it's coming from, back road or interstates or what, etc. It's pretty pathetic that nowadays they have to put cameras up over top. You see snipers and stuff off bridges because people are just that psychotic these days. I'm surprised they even have this bridge open, this walking bridge. Surprises the hell out of me that they even have it open after that deal happened out there in Arizona and I think it was I-70. They just put cameras up here and call it good, I guess, but look, they even come equipped with a sniper hole if you want it to. <laughs> so messed up. It's supposed to be if they're viewing, but... I don't know what else left to be left to view. Anyway, I'm going to get some more pictures and then back on the road. It's ahead of time for the wind and the mic, if that is the case gonna bring you some beautiful back road scenery in Pennsylvania as I'm making my way to back to Maryland. This morning I started out driving through Baltimore and apparently I went into a tunnel that was under the water in the Chesapeake River or basin or where that is at harbor. We went in the Chesapeake Harbor Tunnel that was kind of cool. Went about five miles you could hear the water over hit it over top of you. The things that man-made structures that we can make and this afternoon into the evening I'm gonna be looking at stuff like this as we 
you see them. All sorts of beautiful looking older time farms out here. And it just goes on and on for miles. I don't know what valley this is. In the valley now, but it was on a mountain road. It was really steep, seven, whatever you call it, grade, point grade on it. This is why I get out here and do it. Just to be able to drive some of these roads that I would have never expected to see in my lifetime. And then the smell. Flowers and manure. Very interesting smell. I don't think I don't know if I'll ever be able to get that out of my nose. You go into the into the valley down by where these farms are at and you smell manure. You go right. I mean, you go up into the mountains and you smell flowers and pine trees and stuff. It's kind of beautiful scenery out here. I'm loving it. Anyway, 